Welcome everybody, uh, Tyler Patner here, Pyramid Insider. I am joined today by the president of Pyramid Air, Val Gammerman. Uh, we have some kind of interesting stuff to talk about, uh, but wanted to get this out quickly because time is of the essence regarding some potential uh, regulation changes, I guess, as it, as it kind of revolves around airsoft air guns, potentially. Uh, Val's gonna tell us all the details. I know this kind of hit social media over the weekend uh, and there have been a lot of questions. So we figured we'd hop on really quick and kind of shed some light. Uh, so thank you, Val, for, for joining for this. Uh, first and foremost, what's going on? Like there's some enforcement model changes and stuff that we need to understand. So tell the folks what's going on. Sure. Um, so for the past 20 years or so, uh, air guns, airsoft, paintball uh, standards, as it comes to, uh, when it comes to the United States anyway, uh, were enforced by the Department of Commerce. And so those standards uh, are, uh, revolve around either how safe product is, what markings are on the products, what is said in the manual, what is said on the packaging, and so on and so forth. Uh, Part of the Omni bill that was passed in December of 2022, that 1800 page document that nobody read, uh, was a one line change which uh, was put in the bill uh, that changed the government body of the executive branch that is responsible for enforcement of uh, those regulations and rules. And it went from Department of Commerce to Consumer Safety Protection Commission. Uh, which is also abbreviated as CSPC. Um, and that by itself is not, uh, is not a horrible change, although it is a change. Um, and uh, we were made aware of this. Uh, we, uh, Pyramid Air is part of the STM committee in January at CHAT Show uh, at the annual ASTM committee meeting. Uh, and uh, some questions were raised. CSPC representatives were on the phone in the meeting and when we asked them, uh, because we believe that air guns are exempt from uh, some of these uh, rules and regulations, uh, just like paintball and airsoft, we were told that all uh, uh, non-powder guns, air guns, airsoft guns, and mobile guns will be subject to the new rules and new enforcements. Um, somewhat incredible, but uh, nevertheless, the, the industry and STM uh, did engage with CSPC. A few conversations took place. Uh, and there's still a lot of confusion around what really is changing, how it's changing, and specifically which categories are subject to the new regulations. Um, normally, this would go through a, a process of clarifying um, the language of the new regulations, and that is a lengthy process. Unfortunately, we were a little bit blindsided by this fast track change that was put in place just a, just a week ago, and uh, it, the changes that are proposed by CSPC will go live on June 12th uh, is the deadline for comments. And I believe end of June is when the new regulations will be in place unless opposed or there is significant uh, amount of opposition, uh, whatever the definition of significant means. And so um, the language is very confusing uh, and uh, is self-contradictory in a few places. Uh, it seems to be centered around children products, which, as you all know, air guns, airsoft guns, and paintball guns are not children products or unnecessarily youth products. And so, in theory, it's not subjecting our products to this new rule. But in reality, there is enough of a concern within the industry and ASTM uh, membership that this will be uh, uh, interpreted in a wrong way. Uh, government is not like gray, and this certainly is written in a very gray language. And so uh, if it is written in gray, it will become a subject to interpretation. And if it is subject to interpretation, it can lead to an uh, unneeded outcome or unwanted outcome. Hence, we're trying to do something about it and at the very least bring awareness up. So Val, based on what you just said, uh, the, the concern here is kind of twofold. Number one, that this is all being fast tracked and done in a way where there's not really room for the industry to comment or, or even consumers. Um, but also the, the second part of this is that it's, it's very vaguely written or maybe contradictory, as you said. Mm -hmm. uh, and the concern there is that you leave it open to some interpretation, whether that's by different government agencies or, or um, even different personnel within an agency, uh, mm -hmm. which 
which could certainly lead to problems. We've never seen that before, uh, you know, from the government. So uh, that's really the the cause for concern, correct? Cor correct. It, it, it's the fact that some statements are vague uh, and not really black and white, which is not the best option for new rules or regulations when they're being published. Uh, and some are actually uh, self-contradictory. Um, and so I, we believe the intention is to clarify the rules for uh, toy guns, but because those are truly children products. Uh, and But the way it is written, it does leave certain types of air guns, for example, airs of guns, uh, to be interpreted as children products, which is contradictory to this statute. Uh, and as a result of it, potentially opens up uh, interpretation by other executive branch offices and departments to take action the way they see fit and the way they understand the rule. So we're just asking for the rule to be uh, slowed down, uh, have clarification language put in place that makes it very clear which products are subject to the new testing requirements and which ones are not. Gotcha. Good. Okay. So um, in terms of what the industry is doing and, and what I guess you and I are, are asking the folks at home to do that, that uh, you know, don't want to see any potential overreaches uh, from our from our uh, government on, on the topic of air guns, airsoft guns and Okay, yeah. L guns, all of it, right? Let's uh, let's sound very educated. Non-powder guns. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, yeah, yeah. So all non-powder guns. Uh, what do the folks at home need to do? Uh, there is a link under this video. Uh, please follow it. You can read a little bit more about this, and and uh, if you want, uh, please follow the links under uh, on that page, uh, where you'll be taken to the government website, where you can post post your opposition, uh, either signed or anonymous, up to you. Uh, we're just looking to have more people oppose it so then the change in rule uh, is slowed down. Again, this is not uh, like UK situation in 1999 where they tried to ban fox hunting and 150,000 people just came to the streets, not because they were fox hunters, but just because they were despising the government power grab or grab for power. Uh, this is more about, hi, we, we would like to be part of this conversation. Let's make this change so that uh, everything is, uh, so we live in a better world, um, but don't, uh, let's not, uh, let's not make it hastily so that we create more issues than we solve. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, follow the link below, as Val said. Uh, I know many, many players in the industry are, have already done their part and will continue to do so uh, in, in really trying to work with the government to hopefully make these uh, regulations that they're looking to put in place clearer, more concise, and, and uh, certainly less open to interpretation. Uh, That's great. Yes, let's make them as black and white as possible. That's the bottom line. Pyramid there did post the opposition last week. It's published as of today, Monday, June 5th. You can find our opposition. You can find ASTM's opposition. There are plenty of uh, signatures uh, opposing this already. Uh, we hope you can add your vote to it. Your voice you can add your voice to it. Let's add your voice. Yeah, yes. it's not a vote. Yeah. Yes, and 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 I believe there is a limited time for which they are taking comments, uh, and I think it's yeah. the twelfth. Is that right? Yeah, we have a week basically to do okay. that. Yep. All right, so folks, get over there. Uh, follow the links below. Uh, make your voice heard, and hopefully, we can make a difference, and uh, hopefully, lead to a uh, more clear better, brighter future for, for everybody involved. There you go. Awesome. Well, thank you for joining me, Val. I appreciate it. Thank you all for watching. And uh, hopefully we will be back with good news shortly. Thank you, Tyler. Bye, guys.